and welcome back to EVE Online with me, Mark from Dadex, and we're back in the Drake because while I was pottering around sailing, I found a 4 out of 10 dead site, a Serpentis Fi warehouse, so we're going to go off and do that. Just to recap on the, the ship itself, we've obviously got the 4% increase to shield resistances and 10% increase to heavy missile and assault missile damage per level of battlecruiser, and the hull gets a straight 25% bonus to missile velocity, which is basically a range bonus. Skill-wise... I'm going to have a quick walk through the skills and show you where I am. I'm pretty, I'm maxed out. I'm over the skill cap on the Alpha account. So I've got Kaldari Battlecruiser free right now. I am going to use some of my free SP I've been getting off of events to top that up to level 4. Do bear in mind, please, I actually recorded the first segment of the video after I ran the site simply because I jumped out to get the site really quickly before somebody else got on it and didn't really linger to go through the fitting. So uh, I actually ran the site with level three Kaldari Battle Cruiser. And I've had some comments asking me to go into a little bit of detail of where I am with skills and which skills are really the most relevant to each ship that I'm flying. So I'm starting that now. And here we are with the shield skills, obviously very relevant to Kaldari ships. Shield compensation level four is the only one I haven't got that an Alpha could possibly have. And that's just, uh, I'm missing out on a 2% less capacity use for shield booster, so I'll manage with that for now. And we won't be using the shield booster anyway. Now, over to the missile skills. Um, I haven't got Tech 2 heavy missiles. It's quite a long train on Alpha account. It would also make the fit quite hard work because they use so much more CPU. So um, I'm managing with the meta launchers, and that's absolutely fine. Got a few little specialization skills to top up. And torpedoes is only at level 3. Shame on me. And then shield rigging skills. Now the rigging skills are good. You may neglect them, but do they basically mitigate whatever the downside of the rigs you've got fitted in, which for shields is a uh, increased signature radius on your ship. And for the weapons riggings is increased CPU or power grid use for fitting the modules. So uh, training up your rigging skills makes your fits easier. Drone skills over time, I've trained them up. They're not really, they haven't been a great priority with a, a Kaldari alt, not like they would be with some of the other races. But they're there, they're done now. And uh, yeah, they're a good uh, little thing to have. So let's have a look at the fit itself. And it is a basically an absolutely standard passive tank drake. Um, I've actually got the three ballistic controls fitted rather than the two that I had in the wormhole because I don't need the extra bit of shield regen. Or I don't think I do. I haven't done the site yet, but let's see. I've got four hobgoblins and one acolyte two in the uh, drone hold. Nice little mixture. <laughs> That's what I had handy. What can I say? Again, the rig's the usual three of the EM screen reinforcer and two extenders. All switched on, it gives us an impressive 82,000 EHP, very high shield resistances. This is just a big slab of a ship, basically. And we're going to use the missile range, which is 59 kilometers with these heavy missiles. And keep out of the way, minimize the amount of damage that's coming in, kill things at a distance, use the drones to kind of keep ourselves free of little ships and uh, pests that are getting up close. Target painter to make them all a little bit easier to hit. And do bear in mind, the target painter also does improve the situation for your drones and your fleet mates and anybody else involved in the fight. I've got the restrained micro warp drive on. As you can see there, it only increases your signature radius boom by 450%. The other types of micro warp drive of this size are 500%. That obviously isn't making you uh, four and a half or five times uh, more susceptible to damage as the total amount. It just makes you easier for the damage of your enemies to be applied. So um, it's something to consider. And also, of course, our rigs are boosting our uh, signature radius, mitigated by the rigging skills. We're a big fat slab of a ship. We're quite easy to hit. Um, but we've got lots of shield, and that is our advantage, and we can shoot things from far, far away. Hopefully further away than they can shoot us. I've got some uh, bits and bobs in the cargo hold that are totally irrelevant. I'm just going to use the Scourge Heavy Missiles as much as I can. I've got some Kaldari Navy as a backup in case we need it. And that's about it, really. Off we go. So, here we are. We're now before the beginning of the video. Off we go. And remember, these sites need to be scanned down. The Heron did that for me, actually, even though this one's got a scanner on. This is the Drake that popped in the wormhole to clear the towers of the gas okay. site for the venture. Okay. There you go, you're fully up to speed on the soap opera of Salin and the Drake fleet. Now, I'm in low sec, but that uh, is kind of irrelevant. These do spawn out in high sec. 
I've got, as you can see, in local is packed with fleet members and court mates, so I'm uh, pretty much as safe as I'd be in high sec, and they're going to be shouting me so I don't have to descan too much. And uh, I can just get on with it. I'm doing this a little bit blind, actually. It's been a long, long time since I uh, really ran many sites, and it's been quite fun doing it. Another advantage of getting these new alts and doing stuff like I haven't done for a long, long time. And here we are, we're up to the acceleration gate, the entry point into the site. And we're going to activate the gate and we're going to immediately hit the problem that we're glitched onto the gate itself. This can happen to you, this can get you killed if it happens at the wrong time in a site when it's time for you to warp away. It can happen to you when you're mining, if you're trying to warp away and you're glitched on an asteroid. Just double click on space like that, away from the obstruction and uh, let your ship have a little bit of time just to get into space away from the obstruction. And then try to warp again. You get a lovely view of the soft underbelly of the mighty Drake there. Looks quite flimsy from that view. Right, off we go. We have activated the gate. We can get into our warp vector. And let's see what we land in. Obviously, I've done a little bit of a recon in the sense that I've checked the EVE Uni wiki site. There seem to be lots of ships in this site. It really depends on where we land, where they are. So uh, let's see what we get. And we'll work out a strategy once we're in there now that is the it's the electronically sealed container that contains the key to the next room we've landed right on top of two cruisers so we're going to take those out first in fact sorry it's a cruiser and a frigate and it takes ages for a drake to lock a frigate as you will see so we're going to kill these two we've got nice range between us and all of the rest of the rats so we are going to do what we can to maintain that let them come into us, so we're just going to fly away from the group. Just slowly, no need to burn, we'll get the invulnerability fields on. We'll target paint the smaller targets as necessary, and we'll let them basically come into us and kill them as they do. And this is how you kite, it's as simple as that. So we're going to use our nice heavy missile range. We've got plenty of tank if anything does get hectic, but I think we can minimise the damage that we even take in this site. So I'm using the missiles on the bigger targets. In this case, at the moment, it's the battle cruiser. I'm letting the drones take on the frigates as they come in. I'm keeping an eye on the drones to see that they don't get aggroed and start taking damage. But they seem to be getting ignored at the moment. And we'll switch the footage up to four times speed and just uh, work our way through this. And as you'll see, we take very little damage during this first wave simply because we're too far away from any of them to hit us most of the time. Now, as I said, the key to get through the gate into the next room is in that electronically sealed container. You don't have to kill all the rats, if I'm correct, and do correct me if I'm wrong in a comment. You don't have to kill all of the rats to get into the gate, but I don't know which ones you do or don't have to kill, so I'm just going to kill them all. I think that seems to be safest, and there certainly seems to be no reason other than maybe saving some time why we wouldn't, because um, we're munching our way through these very, very nicely indeed. Just a little comment about actually running sites in low sec. One of the advantages is that um, in general there's less competition. And one of the things that I've heard about and that I've seen and people have said out in high sec is people coming into this first room, nicking the key out of the sealed container and then just leaving and putting the key up for sale on contracts for about 34 million and not bothering to actually run the rest of the site. Um... I d that sounds really frustrating if you were in that situation where this is what you kind of tried to do and uh, the gate key's been nicked. Don't buy them on contract, just boycott buying them and then they'll be worthless and hopefully people will stop doing it. That's all I can really say about that. Anyway, everything's dead and here within this asteroid was the sealed container. So we now have the key. We have some overseer's belongings, although they're not of much value. I'm just going to have a quick look on the old Eve Uni wiki just to check. Next room, a lot more stuff. And this is the guy with the loot. He's the one that we're interested in down here. The battleship. So, over to the gate and through into the next room. And let's see what we get here. There's that battleship. And there are all of the other ships. Now, just do look on that overview. Look, the uh, the battleship is right down there at the bottom, 54 kilometers away. Um, I'll bring you back to there. He's going to come out at us very quickly. We're using exactly the same system here. 
quick recheck on there taking out the bigger ships with the missiles the smaller ships with the drones as they come into range of our drone control range which is 40 kilometers and at stages if you see the drones getting put onto a bigger ship here it's because there's no frigates within range but again we're maintaining our range we're flying away the battleship is coming after us you see he's now almost at the top he is now at the top of the overview he is coming in after us he is going to start applying damage he's blaster fit so you will see us taking finally a little bit of damage on this site but the big advantage here is this guy has chased us out the, the other rest of the rats are getting further and further out of range as you can see we only have to worry about him and we can manage him very nicely now there can be issues of whether you can break his tank or not and as you will see he's got some evil reps so what i do do i try overheating I'll put the footage back to two times speed now just because there's a little bit going on so I'm overheating that's not really doing what I want I'm going to finish this load of uh, the standard ammo just up on some of the cruisers etc that are around I'm letting the guy come in close to me I could burn away more with the micro warp drive I'm doing it a little bit occasionally I actually want to see how bad it gets as I say I'm not too familiar with this site and I want to see what this Drake can get away with and also by kind of showing you me taking a bit of damage is a little bit more interesting and also i think there's a lot of leeway in this fit i've got the tech 2 tank i've only got the meta launchers but um as you see there's quite a bit of leeway to be had here but anyway we're now firing into the battleship we are grinding him down but again you see he throws up some nasty reps and i could see why uh you might come in here a little bit ill prepared and have trouble fighting the guy i'm trying to get a bit of traversal on him just by flying across in front of him and as you can see from the readout on the screen he's missing some shots he's getting uh, smaller damage hits on me when he is hitting me and all of the other ships are missing me completely you can see all the lasers flashing past me so this is working out very nicely for us uh, this is the Kaldari Navy ammo now by the way I don't think I mentioned that I switched speed in the footage and it caught me out in the narration but this is uh, to break his tank I've gone to the Kaldari Navy ammo I think it's probably what you're going to need to do as you can see he is tanking very hard i don't know though maybe next time i get in here i'll just stick with the uh standard scourge ammo and see how we get on the drones are on him now too as i said everybody else is out of my drone control range so there they are nibble 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 can't do any harm can it and uh we're down to nearly half shield and do bear in mind that um, when it comes to your passive shield regen that only really kicks in at its full rate between 33 and 50% shield. So I'm quite comfortable with where we are. It's just a question of burning the guy down. And now, of course, the biggest advantage we've got is this is the loot guy. He's now a good distance away from all of the guys that could put some DPS on us. Once we've killed him, we just go back and grab the loot. It's very similar to what happened in the vigil. If you uh, have seen me doing the vigils in the videos, um, provided that the guy with the loot spawns on the right side of a structure he'll just charge right out at you really quickly you grab it you kill him you grab the loot and you leg it whether you want to linger and kill the rest of the guys is completely up to you and there's only been one or two points on the entire site that the drones have got any aggro which is quite nice but do ke always keep an eye on him and there we go he's dying i'm going to hit approach just so we start turning our drake towards him so we can get in there and grab the loot. We've got 1.4 million bounties come through there for the stuff we've already killed on the site. It's a little bit of a contribution. Obviously, this loot drop is a little bit random. I saw somebody on YouTube do this in a ship that cost 10 times, over 10 times what this Drake is worth. And he got a really rubbish drop. But we didn't. Look at that. That's a 93 million isk module. We'll have a proper look at that when we're back in the hangar. I've killed the loot guy. I do go on and kill the rest of the site just for the sake of it because I can, really. Um, there's no real advantage to it. You get a little bit in bounties. They don't drop any good loot, any of these ships. Not that I've seen anyway. And uh, really down to you. If you want to just get on and do the next site, then why not? We've got the loot. We are done. So the site is all tidied up. Nothing to report loot-wise. But there we are. we got the... Corellum C-type medium armor repairer, 94 million isks worth. The Drake paid for in one site, and there you go. Showing off, I shouldn't have done this because within five minutes, somebody had managed to get that lovely faction module off me, and I never got any isk, but that's okay. 
That's what court mates are for, eh? Docking request so that site took us about 15 minutes to clear, at least to the point of getting the loot guy. I stayed for a couple more minutes uh, clearing up the rest of the site, which is kind of unnecessary, as I said. I hope you've enjoyed that. The point of these videos is really to show you how cheaply and easily you can get into doing stuff rather and then you make the isk to get your big powerful ships that you see in a lot more a lot of the videos especially pve wise that you can use later on in the game but this is where you might start doing that so i hope you've enjoyed this leave a comment i'm going to try this in some galante ships a myrmidon that i stole i'll tell you that story another day and if you have enjoyed the video and found it useful, then please leave it a like and subscribe if you want to stay in touch. But for now, fly safe, take care, and goodbye.